On July 9, we visited the limestone caves of Münsted, the largest limestone mine in the world, a piece of Denmark's history and an endless maze of mine tunnels. In 1997, the Danish Nature Agency acquired the limestone caves of Münsted. The acquisition was as a result of the closure of the caves in 1995. The reason for this action was to protect the most important hibernation site for bats in Europe, and also to secure the cultural history as well as the recreational and geological interests of the caves. The lime plant was established in 1874, but in 1933 it was extensively rebuilt for the tidy sum of 27,000 Danish kroner and functioned until 1980. In 2003 and 2004, the lime plant underwent an extensive restoration and today it is an important monument of early Danish industry. The lime plant now serves as a museum. After visiting the plant museum, we rode the mine train that departs from the factory, passes by huge piles of flint and limestone and moves along the open pit towards the mine entrance. The train then winds between columns of limestone deep inside the mine and passes brooks and underground lakes, ending at the cinema site. As the inhabitants of Münstead became Christians more than 1,000 years ago, they got themselves a new extra source of income, lime quarrying and lime burning. The new religion required churches built of stone. The stones were held together with mortar made with hydrated lime, a new building material in Denmark. Under the fields of Pinsted there was limestone, previously a worthless rock. During the next 200 years, more than 2,000 stone churches were built approximately 10 each year. This building activity launched the limestone industry in Munstead, which did not come to an end until 1978. There are more than 60 kilometers of underground paths that include an underground cinema with room for about 70 people. Det er tidligt i middelalderen, fra 
og siger, at vi har gået noget til 1250. Det der bygget mere end 2000 stenkirker i Danmark. Og de blev alle holdt sammen og blokket. Der var også dengang en stor brændt kalk, landet med sand og vask og rigtig borgerskab. Betød, at mønstet altid havde kroner til den brændte kalk. Hertil kom at komme og havde også eftersporet kalk til deres slotte, festningsværker og borgere. Som for eksempel borgen i Altsø, hvor til mønstet bønder med. Violinist Anker Book was the owner of Münstead Limestone Caves from 1981 until the estate took over the caves. He and other well-known artists gave concerts in the caves and in the factory building. The Danish food company Arla Foods matures its cheeses in these caves. Thank you. 